Happy Wednesday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here, Darius Dell, to present our Macro Minute for Wednesday, June 12th, 2024. As always, we'll start with the executive summary from today's leadoff morning note. If you would like to review the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what specific changes you need to make in your portfolio, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So today's key macro events are CPI surprises to the downside, uh, previewing the Fed, and a strong 10-year Treasury auction. So market implications, uh, as presaged in our recent research, the May CPI released surprise consensus expectations to the downside on both the headline and core basis. Consensus forecast call for headline and the core P headline CPI and the core PC deflator to remain sticky around current levels into Q1 of next year. Our base case, based on everything we know today, is that negative inflation surprises drag to, uh, second half of 2024 inflation expectations lower, and positive inflation or positive economic surprises pull uh, 2H24 growth expectations higher. Uh, if that happens, our J wants a soft landing theme will remain more dominant than our Janet wants softer inflation theme, which will perpetuate the global liquidity cycle upturn and extend the duration of the current risk on condition of the market regime, which will perpetuate a phase transition back or and perpetuate a phase transition uh, back to Goldilocks. Uh, that, my friends, is the path to a second consecutive year of 20 plus percent returns in the S&P 500. Transitioning to our 42 macro dashboard here. As always, we'll wrap up with a question from our community. Uh, this one is regarding uh, our uh, market regime uh, now casting process. Uh, so I'll just read the question. It says, uh, I'm going to agree as well. I guess uh, this, this client is responding to uh, some feedback, positive feedback we got uh, from an, a couple other clients. So I'm just going to read the question. It says, I'm going to agree as well. The RA section in general was excellent. Dr. Mo and the grid BAMS back tests are extremely useful. A uh, quick question, any takers? How long on average are we in a Goldilocks or any other regime? Uh, for some reason, I thought Goldilocks was relatively uncommon compared to the other three regimes. I think this was covered in the previous Around the Horns, but I can't find it. So uh, I just got to quickly answer the question. So uh, when you go back and you sequence uh, the evolution of the market regime, i.e., which is the condition of the market, is it risk on, is it risk off, is it risk on with an inflationary bias, or risk on with a dis or disinflationary bias, is it risk off with an inflationary bias, or risk off with a disinflationary uh, bias? And so uh, our, our nomenclature here, 42 macro for those uh, regimes, uh, really it's not our nomenclature, it's borrowing bar it from broad nomenclature. Uh, across asset market or across market participants, but Goldilocks, uh, which is risk on with it in a uh, disinflationary bias, uh, that has occurred 31% of the time uh, since uh, January 1998. Uh, reflation, which is risk on with an inflationary bias, has occurred 31% of the time since January 90, 1998 as well. Inflation, which is risk off with an inflationary bias, has occurred only 12% of the time since January 1998, uh, most notably uh, throughout 2022. And then lastly, deflation has occurred, uh, which is risk off of the disinflationary bias has occurred 27% uh, of the time. So what we're trying to do here at 42 Macro, our, our entire investment process, our risk management process, the way we help clients maximize upside capture bull markets and minimize downside capture bear markets is to help them identify and position for the market regime and more specifically uh, book gains in things that are going to uh, stop performing well uh, whenever we have a market regime phase transition and rotate those that capital, rotate those gains into uh, assets that are uh, likely to outperform uh, whenever we're at the precipice of a market regime phase transition. So I think we do that better than most. I think that's what everyone's trying to do. They just don't have a systematic, you know, and, and, and real institutional uh, research and risk management process uh, to, to perpetuate those outcomes. So and we're proud to, to, to do that and do that for our clients uh, six days a week here at 42 Macro. So we'll wrap it up there. Oh, and before we wrap it up, uh, we got our friend Chris Sidio from the Ambers Group. Uh, joining us today for our Pro to Pro Live discussion for the month of June. Uh, obviously, Chris is a fan favorite of the program and a fan favorite out there on the broader uh, Twitter sphere. So uh, he's definitely going to uh, we're going to have some great questions here uh, for, for the live discussion and live Q&A. So obviously, subscribe or upgrade uh, to participate live. We'll catch you back here uh, tomorrow. Have a great day out there. Cheers.